this video here using the USB M12 charger to power a Race Geek. Um, we go away from the USB because it's limited to 5 volts. So here's the unit here. And you plug your M12 battery into it. There's two options there. You see the battery's hook up there. Little clip there. Torx 10 screws. There's three of them. So you gotta get this clip out. And really you just gotta get underneath that and then it'll slide right out. Pull out all these. Um, this will still work when you're done. But then this is um, basically kind of a charging port, I guess. We've never gotten anything charges with it. But that actually gets removed. So here's the, the one we've done. You can see that piece was attached there. We come in. This is directly wiring it. You could use a power, just a positive and a negative come in here as well. But then you just solder directly on to where their red and black are on the D10 it's, it's red and gray if it was something else it'd probably be red and black um, if you're going to use other instruments then you just run a power cord in here and hook that up and then the power cord would go to a bus that you'd hook the D10 into so that's pretty much it you just hook those together and then put everything back together again um, I put a little bit of tape there just to keep it um, to, to keep it in we have done zip ties on the inside to help keep these from getting pulled, but you really shouldn't have a problem. Hopefully that helps, but you can see really it's just big thing is soldering right there.